All right, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G here with some more cross out for y'all and carrying on with our tradition of ranking everything into a tier in the game. Uh, we're going to hit co-drivers today. Now, disclaimer, co-drivers are a whole different cup of tea uh, to ranking than anything else in the game. And honestly, they all are S tier, depending on if you're using them for the correct build. But as far as versatility and overall use in most number of builds, we're going to do our best uh, to go ahead and rank those uh, is overall effectiveness that you're going to use in as many builds as possible. So big thank you to this one to Durky, Kenny, Cloud, Mads, Hamster, Wormy, and Karoka uh, on this one. So this is going to be a little bit more of a guide as well and a, a less of a ranking, but we're going to do, we're going to do some ranking uh, as well for this one. We're doing our, we're doing our best. So first off, let's talk about um, Master Jack. The one we all start with, the Swiss Army Knife of co-drivers. Um, this is a solid, solid co-driver. We're going to rank this one at S. Pretty much everybody agreed Master Jack earns you an S. Uh, one of the main advantages to Master Jack is you're going to be able to give yourself a 500 kilo boost to max tonnage if you can get to the level 15 on lock on this, which is hugely important and will squeeze some builds over the top that that last 500 kilos can make all the difference uh, depending on one of the builds that you're going to run uh bulldog is going to get a ranking of a it's a pretty solid one uh, everybody pretty much agreed bulldog pretty much a it's a must-have for shotguns it's going to give bonuses to not only shotguns but melee weapons and like many of the co-drivers it's going to give a kilo boost to the growl of 500, which not something to just laugh at and tip your nose at. Now the Perseus, we're going to give it an overall ranking of an A as well. This is that machine gun co-driver. Uh, it's going to give some durability and damage to Nomad weapons. It's going to boost machine guns. It's going to boost mini guns. It's going to boost their durability, uh, optimal and maximum range, as well as a maximum spread reduction. So if you're using machine guns, you're going to want to go ahead and hit the Perseus. However, not everybody has a promo account like Mr. G and has every single co-driver unlocked at level 15. Uh, they take a ton of resources to unlock. So maybe just going for that Master Jack level 15 is, is what you want to do. But we're not done. We have more co-drivers. We got Stone Def, who we were able to give an average score of uh, A as well. Because if you're running cannons... Stone Def is the one you're going to want to use. Um, he's going to give a one shell for cannons um, extra. Going to buff their damage. It's going to speed up the trucker cab a little, which is pretty useless because really nobody uses the trucker cab. Um, but you're going to get boost to cannons across the board between damage, durability, shell blast radius, crosshair convergence when your car is stationary, turn speed bonus of 2%, and that one piece of ammo. Um, and that's going to make a big difference. Uh, I use Stone Def every time I run cannon, so it's it's a must-have. And if you think you want to go and be a cannon main, switch to Stone Def, grind it, do the money. Uh, next up is Hans, which in my opinion is a little bit one of the one of the goofier ones. And they went ahead and, and they tweaked this one, and this is one of the few co-drivers that we're going to give a B. Now, obviously, for a lot of builds, it's going to be an S, but for overall use. We're going to give Hans a ranking of B right now. Um, but it has the best uh, movement part durability to buffs, and it speeds up the super heavy wolf caps. Um, it helps with wheels, melee wheels, tracks, mechanical legs, hovers, and, and, and durability. It boosts the durability of a lot of those different movement parts. So it can be a really, really handy co-driver that you can use. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about Jade. Jade, we're going to give a ranking of A. So, I mean, really, these are all coming in pretty handy for what you're going to use them for. Uh, Jade is going to give a ridiculously nice bonus to accuracy while on the move, um, which is a really, really nice perk. Um, and it's going to boost the tonnage on some of the Dawn's children's cabins. But the accuracy while moving perk is, is really handy, especially if you're running something like a Scorpion or anything that you're going to be sniping and being on hover and shooting can make jade a really awesome 
co-driver. Um, and last but not least, we're going to talk about Misty, who we're going to give an average ranking. Ooh, this was tough. Some people were giving it an A. Some people were giving it a C. So rather than giving you a median average, we're going to give this thing a mean average of a B ranking uh, for this particular co-driver. Uh, Misty gives a boost to max speed of movements parts uh, and buffs some fire starter weapons. And it buffs the epic cab drone. Um, and it's going to give any movement part a speed limit boost of plus 3%, being some of the best perks that you're going to find for that particular co-driver. Um, but like that being said, Tarjan really needs to rework the co-drivers. Maybe it would be nice to just let us go ahead and choose skills as we go, rather than being tied to just a certain set of skills. Maybe being able to unlock different skills for different builds could be a nice change. A lot of weapons don't even have perks to help them at all. Honestly, it's a really dated system, and Darjum really needs to rework the entire thing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know this one is a shorty. Um, I've been having a lot of help from people on the Discord, and I couldn't be keeping up with YouTube without them um, because they're doing all the heavy lifting for me, and I'm literally just here uh, imparting wisdom from others, uh, shooting it to you guys. All right, guys, be good. Stay safe. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Mr. G out. <laughs>